So we are going to layer some future house bass sounds and we are going to use a kick sample and Massive by Native Instruments, this synthesizer over here. And this Massive is placed onto this MIDI track, future house bass, and I'm applying this sequence of notes. Right now we are playing the init patch. If you put Massive on new sound, that's what you get. Over here we play a kick, over here we are playing the massive. Let's quickly go down an octave and go to the square. And let's put on a filter. By the way, you should listen on good speakers because you won't hear you won't hear anything on a smartphone or um, a tablet or a laptop. I have some future house presets prepared, and I'm taking one that's called um, Bass Nizza. This one. And I'm going to play it with this, with those MIDI notes now. What we have over here, we have a Flend 1 in Oscillators 1, Flanders, Flanders 1, Wavetable Position, Intensity, Amp, and a little bit of Pitching with the second envelope. Over here in the second, um, like you drag this over here and then you pitch it up. In the second one, we have a digigrain a wavetable selected uh, to the right, intense and pretty wide amped. And also, we have a square to saw, and we are using the square wave over here, and we're amping it out pretty much as well. We don't use any modulation, we use a bright uh, noise over here, also with this envelope. And we use a little bit of feedback, we use a little bit of low pass filtering. Uh, band pass over here. We mix those filters quite a bit and we have a bit crusher over here um, we, that's optional. And we have a tube over here, a classical tube, a reverb, and a little bit of EQing and high shelves. So that's basically what we do, and we can mess around with this patch a little. This patch is part of a pack, we call it Massive Future House Volume 2. It's our sixth preset pack and it's available uh, in the description. Well, let's mess around a little bit over here. I'm going to put on some side chaining compression. So there's another kick track over here playing the same notes as this one with that kick and um like this and we don't we don't put this active so we mute that channel we use it as side chaining information over here We're taking the channel this one and we can take down the threshold now a bit so it's pumping a little more and the transients of the kick and the transients of the bass are not interfering too much we also uh, put on an equalizer EQ8 from the audio effects over here that one and we put in a little bit of low cut And we also put a little bit of saturation on top this one saturator a bit warmer We also have a filter over here. We could filter a little bit if we would like to. But we are not using that one now. Let me quickly make a copy of this track and start layering. I'm going to duplicate this one. It's going to play basically the same sound for now, but I'm taking a MIDI effect uh, picture, put it in front of the massive, and I'm putting it up seven semitones. Thank you. 
and I'm taking out a little bit of the low frequencies here in the equalizer on that second bass. Also, I'm going to put on a um, chorus effect, this one. Let's listen to it solo. You notice how it takes the sound to the panorama uh, to the left and the right. So we're getting a little bit of power into the sound already. We could um, now duplicate this another time and let's quickly call this um, sub and add in a sub bass that only takes care of the very low frequencies over here to have to be assured they are really played out well. So what I'm doing is um, I'm taking out the effects for now, just leaving this equalizer here and I'm taking the init patch of Massive that one and I'm taking it down two octaves now and I'm taking a sine square taking the wavetable position to the left so if you don't have a really good speakers with low end you won't hear this because if you look over here in the spectrum you're really low really low you could maybe maybe it's a little too low maybe we add in another one and put that only one octave down, so 12 semitones. So we have it here as well. And now we can make a little low cut here with 30 something maybe. And then also we want to um, totally forget about the rest over here and maybe cut out everything at some point. Well, that's not correct. So this one is just taking care of the low end. We can take out those frequencies in those other sounds now a bit to leave space for the sub bass. Now we can also um, maybe add in another instance of Massive and take even more layers in there. Um, how about some keys maybe? Let's listen to those. They sound a little bit like this Oliver Helden style. Let's call this uh, keys. Take those even more to the sides, maybe. That's a question of uh, taste, I guess. Um, let's try something else still. Maybe a lead sound. And um, I'm going to take uh, LD. So it looks like this. Needle grown, a uh, smooth square, a little bit of modulation going on, white noise, low pass filter, uh, dimension expander, and chorus. That one is pretty cool. And now we um, we can uh, like how you make this sound. You you take the dirty needle, wavetable position like this. You take the grown one, pitch it up. You pitch this down. You leave that one smooth square. 
wave table position to the right, um, then there's a little bit of modulation in the ring modulation going on on the second, and there's a little bit of phase modulation going on in the first. And then there's uh, some white noise applied. Well, it's not act well, it's just this much activated right now because the macro control is down. And then we have a low pass filter over here. We have this dimension expander playing out, and we have a chorus effect on top. You can actually take this chorus out and just use this one. I think I like this one better, so I'm, I'm leaving in the one of Ableton as well. And we have a little bit of uh, high shelf and low shelf is down a little. So that's that sound. Now we could go ahead and maybe leave the sub bass out, but take all the other sounds and kind of um, glue them together. So I'm selecting them, right click group tracks. I, ca I can call this group uh, like bass group or something. Um, now we can take the uh, glue compressor. <laughs> Maybe I want to take out a little bit of the lower frequencies over here still. And of course you can start messing around with effects on top of your group inside of your arrangement like a reverb or something combined with a auto filter so you could easily think of this as an effect chain for example and um, right click select both group them for example put on the macros and then tell this for example to um, map the frequency here to number one and um, we'll take the dry wet up also to macro number one and now we uh, if we turn up this macro it turns up the frequency but also this dry wet of the reverb so let's listen in <laughs> So that's just a simple way of, um, of using effects in, in live, but I don't want to go into detail since this should, should be a short tutorial. So this is a basic approach to make um, future house bass notes, bass lines and uh, Ableton and you layer your sounds and you're good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, check the description for presets and sounds and maybe other um, of our future house tutorials and um, Subscribe to our channel and I hope to see you next time. Bye.